that innovation is not working, it means you are going to be poor and even go more hectic. But we don't want that in Ghana. That is why this conference is saying we should break back barriers. So this is the presentation outline. We are going to look at why innovation is crucial in the workplaces. What is innovation? Some basic features of innovation in the workplace. Significance of innovation for workplaces and customers. Then organizational benefits of innovation. How innovation can help someone or a company to become successful. Then types of innovation. The workplace norm to promote creativity and innovation. See, I've spoken much about this already. Organizations do not only need to maintain that level of innovation, but also need to improve so as to compete and perform better than rival companies. Organizations nowadays must concentrate on future disruption projections and must not only rely on the existing old assumption. You might think that we are on top, we are doing well, but hey, what did COVID do? A lot of people were kicked off because they were not trying to bring up new things. Look, during this COVID time, even companies that produce uh, local herbal medicine started producing sanitizers and soaps. You need to innovate yes. to be on the map. Sure. So when we say what is innovation, we said innovation refers to the introduction of something new, unique, and different that has not been invented yet. You can also look at innovation from this perspective that is the introduction of new ideas, designs, products, service, services, methods, or devices. The same innovation, you can look at it as uh, not simply, innovation does not simply mean creation of new things, but also refers to the process of uncovering new ways to do some things. So if you are able to uncover new ways of doing things, your processes, you keep changing them, then you are being innovative. Some basic features of innovative workplaces. Any workplace that are innovative have these three features. They are resilience, renewal, and revolutionary, okay? When we say resilience, it means that when the negatives hit their market, they are still on the market, they are not kicked off. They are able to think through and stand all crises of the economic uh, downturn, just like what COVID started doing to most companies. You have to still be on the market. So a company that is innovative is resilient. The renewal, this refers to the rethinking and changing the existing business model to make it valid with current market condition. So you keep renewing your processes so that you can be on the market. Then if we say revolution, the business organization is said to be revolutionary if it has the capability to bring disruption in the existing industry market condition. Any workplace that is innovative when we say innovation, then what is possible with technology? So innovation, if you say innovation, anything that is possible with technology, you are being innovative in that market, in that workplace. Okay. What is desirable to users? It is what makes you innovative. Okay. So what do your customer, customers need? Then what is viable in the marketplace? If you innovate, bring something on the market, no one likes it. You are not being innovative. Mm -hmm. So these three things, when you mention innovation, then whatever you are bringing is what is possible with technology, or what is desirable to users, and what is viable in the marketplace. 
business is not successful if the need of customers are not prioritized. For instance, if you are producing soap and customer says the type of perfume you are using for your soap they don't like, they prefer this perfume and you decide that this is what I can produce, whether you buy it or not, you can't be on the market. So you need to consider the need of the customer. I mean, ECG, let me give you ECG example. No long ago, ECG, anytime you want power, you have to walk to our office to buy it, otherwise you sleep in that place. Yeah. Then customers started pushing for there should be a prepaid. You need to digitize things. Prepaid came. Now they said, no, we want to buy at the comfort of our home. We will not come in queue. So we have ECG mobile app. You can be even outside the country and still charge your meter with credit. So you do what your users require to stay on the market and to be innovative and also grow your business. Significance of innovation for workplaces and customs. You see, at the workplaces, you are not just looking at customer for customer's sake. You are looking at how you can expand in so many areas in terms of technology, manpower, facilities, supply chain, and all that. And in all that, you are trying to innovate. And whilst you are innovating, you see, it helps you stay on the market because you'll be able to meet the demands. Maybe you started a business and it was smaller. Now you have bigger customers that are consuming more. You realize that you have to uh, do something to your facility. If you were doing things manual, you have to use technology to automate so many things so that you can meet the capacity or the demands that are coming. So that is innovation. Even the machines you use, you keep upgrading them. You keep upgrading them. At first, ECG, if you call that your power is off, we need to drive to your location. But we are going on smart grid now. Now, I can be in the office and see that the high tension line, there is a car somewhere, there is a jumper car here, or some area is off, and therefore, we work on it. So the smart grid is coming to replace this uh, manual ways of doing things, this technology. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Organizational benefits <laughs> of innovation. You see, before any organization benefits from innovation, there should be individuals who are innovative, innovative individuals, innovative managers, innovative leaders. If we don't have leaders in our workplaces in Ghana who are innovative, who, who push people to think, hard, to come up with something new, then businesses in Ghana or even the whole world will be going down. Already we are developing countries. Ghana is a developing country. We are not developed yet. And the little we know, if we say we are okay, complacency, we will not innovate, then we cannot be on the international market. We need to innovate in every workplace, whether it's a product you are bringing out, whether it is service you are offering. You need innovation everywhere. Let me give you one example. All this while, my mindset about GCB is, is different. That to the point that I will never like to go to GCB to save. But you know, this institution, the women's wing, we have accounts there. And we're having challenges. We went to one branch, not a branch we opened the account with. We said we want to do a conference. And for all this, we have not been able to operate the account because we have ABC challenge during opening of the account. They gave us a seat and they assign one person to us. In a matter of 15 minutes, everything is resolved. 
We didn't have check. We were able to give us some counter check. We were able to redraw. And I said, wow, this is GC. Now I was saving GC. The approach to life, everything, even in times of COVID, it was so smart. So please start saving at GC. Our own. Yes. How innovation can help to become successful. There are two things we have to look at. Business organization can use the imagination of the two main aspects of the innovation, that is the agility and stability, to become successful. When we say agility, it refers to the ability to change quickly under neg negative economic and business conditions. And on the other hand, stability refers to the cap capability of the organization to remain in business, even when there are harsh conditions like COVID times. Stable under negative conditions calls not letting the sales and revenue decline. Let me give you an example. Have you seen sunlight? Yes. Sunlight has been on the market. Go around the world. Sunlight is on all markets. Now, with the COVID, there are lots of... Hello. With the COVID con condition, yeah. it has come on. I'm sure it's a battery. Can I have it? who were not even developing souls are on the market. But look at Sunlight. They have stand tall through it all. And they still do the decay stage. But look, they still have the market. It's because of what? They are, the, the standard and the processes, they have kept to it. And there is something they are doing that others don't know. They are on every market. So despite all things, their revenue doesn't decline. They are stable. So in your organization, you have to begin to check. We are professionals. Any career you are in, check the new ways of doing things so that you can sustain your organization. If you're able to do that and your organization is doing better, it will keep increasing your salaries and life will be better for everyone, not only your organization, but the whole country and the economy but if you don't innovate, look, our GDP will keep going down, it will dwindle, and now we become very poor. We don't want to go to that stage. Now let's look at types of innovation. We have the sustaining uh, innovation and disruptive innovation. When we talk about the sustaining innovation, it tries to sustain with the changes on the market, targeting demands of high-end customers, with better performance. You see, so with this one, you depend on the requests that are coming, the demand, and you keep changing. But the disruptive one, they are the common thing everybody is doing on the market, okay? But your price is low, quality is high, and people prefer yours. 